this if you can even see me or hear me. This is where the circuit riders are coming. We are T minus 30 minutes. And they normally travel to large cities, but there's this rumblings amongst spiritual people that there's something going on in West Texas. Okay, time out. Now here's something I don't want you to miss. This young lady right here who's singing, she was actually a backup singer. And she, she halted the whole show. She said, wait just a second. There's something that God's placed on my heart. The, the words that she's singing right here in this clip are the words that she declared over the region and the words that we adopted over here in Stephenville as, as a promise from the Lord. Because there were four of us who were positioned throughout the crowd, all different places, different areas around the crowd, just waiting for that God moment. And that was that moment. Didn't want you to miss that. Back into it. cool part is you guys get to see it from the beginning when it's just a word, when it's just crazy talk because in my community it's crazy talk to say that this place is going to be filled with young people seeking after Jesus with every ounce of their being. But we think that's exactly what's going to happen. And just like with the building, we could be out to lunch. This could be all for naught. But like how do you live any other way? I mean you, you feel it in your being that something's getting ready to happen, that God's getting ready to, to demonstrate, and he's asking you to be a part of that process. How do you do anything but? How do you not go to the park and pray? How do you not sell your building and go after it? It's worth it all. He's the pearl of great price. I won't preach. You get what I'm saying. Okay, it's Saturday afternoon, and I spent this morning working on two videos, one for Grace Fellowship, which I actually just put out, and another for the Jesus People Tour. Ministry leaders out there who are trying to do a Facebook campaign. Um, I don't know that I recommend it right now. I almost would recommend like, like influencer marketing type of deal over any sort of drip campaign but so this time we did a drip campaign which is we started about three weeks ago taking the content and the flyers that they gave us digitally and releasing it putting a little bit of money behind it a little bit of money behind it each posted a little bit better until um, we drop our final which our final was gonna be our video from San Marcos and Abilene that went on ahead the Facebook post did really well with the 65 and up crowd shocker shocker anyway uh, did those videos got that all finished up last night got them approved today got them released today good traction today I forgot though I have church tomorrow oh tomorrow's the first day in the church well in the new building that's not a church it's a bar it's a, not a bar it's a, an event a venue. There's, I have so much to catch you up on. On the East Coast, so cold, it doesn't have to be this way. Wow. What's up? So easily. Time out. Time out again. You might be asking yourself, what are the father's tables? Well, or we heard something again. So Jake and I were discussing, how does this not be a one-time event? And we were praying about it and talking it through, and I saw this vision of, of a table, of like the Lord inviting his people to a table. I just wanted to hang out and dwell at that table. And through back and forth with me and Jake, it kind of became the father's table. And we really felt a nudge that the father wanted to invite his children, his sons and daughters, back to the table, back to intimacy, instead of to an altar call, he wanted to meet them at this table and he wanted to speak with them personally. So we built some tables. Let's just literally make a table, set it on the highest place in the park and invite people to the table. 130 feet of amazing father's table. Take a look.
Jesus People Tour is over. It was incredible. People were saved. People were healed. People were delivered. The deliverance part was a little rough. Never my favorite, but that's always fun. It was just uh, awesome when you look down the row and you, and you see uh, people from all different faiths in your community, uh, denominations, I guess I should say, that are of one mind and one accord sitting at that table that we... Uh, that the Lord revealed to us and we made doing whatever he tells them to do. It was a very special night. I told Jesse to put away the camera. It just wasn't for that. We we needed to be about the Lord's business. I'm going to be sad to see him go. I really am. I have grown to love these kids. <sighs> really, really like them. Anyway, I gotta go. Life goes on. Hey, wait, wait a minute, don't go anywhere yet. Thank you guys so much for just taking an interest in mine and Jesse's life. We value you so much. Thank you for carving out extra time. Uh, we hope that our videos give you permission to boldly and courageously follow Jesus. Whatever he tells you to do, go for it. If you're looking for more videos like this, hopefully there's a link up here. Uh, just check them out, hang around on the channel. In the future, we're gonna be talking about selling the church and moving into becoming a nomadic people group. And uh, maybe that's something you're interested in. Subscribe. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.